Hello again, I am Blunty, and this is Minecraft, and that's a random cow, and <laughs> welcome. What are you doing, cow? Get off my mind. Welcome to Minecraft Sundays, whereupon I, a relative Minecraft noob, only being about a month into this game, after resisting it for uh, about four years now, and I'm going to share with you my little uh, weekly journey of what I've accomplished throughout the week, what I've learnt, any stories I've got to tell, some of my adventures and bits and pieces, and you guys can follow along. This isn't a Let's Play, this isn't a, a tutorial series, this is just me sharing with you my, my learning experience of the joys I've discovered in Minecraft, and uh, a lot of you have really responded to that. We talked about this last week, but um, even more of my um, my own friends now are picking up the game, you know, people I know in real life, as uh, four or five of them so far, uh, who have picked up the game in the last week, inspired by the, the fun I've been having. Now, as you can see, if you joined us last week, I have now added a rail system to my uh, my exceedingly long tunnel. This is, uh, we'll call it the Intercontinental Tunnel, because it, it pretty much goes across uh, a, a big slab of continent, I suppose, technically. Although, do, continent, do uh, continents an actual thing in Minecraft? I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So I popped in a rail system, um, which, you know, it's old hat for me now. This is the second one I've built. Just nice, long, straight, simple, easy, with uh, little power tracks every... I think about every 25 blocks or so I put them in this one, which is slightly less than the optimal distance. About every 28 is the most efficient, but uh, every 25 is easier to count when you're just slabbing these things down. <laughs> so you get them, you know, regularly spaced and everything. Uh, so here we go. I've, as you can see, I've uh, finished... Uh, excavating the long tunnel. I'm out the other side to the ocean and the plan is of course to set up a little base here. I've already built the, the platform on which I'll set up a little home base uh, you know with the uh, tool chests and and, uh, and ca uh, cabinets <laughs> boxes things you put stuff in. Why can't I never remember what they're called? Chests! They're called chests! Uh, and I'm gonna build a bunch of boats and I'm gonna go exploring out in the ocean see if I can find one of those brand new uh, ocean monument things that have come out with 1.8. This is Minecraft 1.8, of course, uh, having just launched here well, a couple of days after my last video, actually. And um, one of the first things I'd, I haven't streamed very much this week, so I'm sorry if you really like the streams, but uh, I just haven't done it. I did stream once on the day that 1.8 came out uh, because I promised to put on a bunny suit and uh, go bunny hunting because bunnies were the new animals that were introduced into 1.8. Now, Along 1.8 lines, just as we come back to the other end here, uh, if you see some severe frame rate drops, uh, that's not my computer. Uh, you can see from my, my other Minecraft videos and all the streams you've been watching, all the ones here on uh, YouTube and whatnot, my frame rate was absolutely fine on 1.7.10, uh, and 1.8 was supposed to bring massive frame rate improvements. But for many users, as it turns out, the exact opposite had happened. Uh, people like me, uh, there, there we go, they, they dropped down about 10 frames per second there or something there, I think. Uh, we're seeing massive drops in frame rate. It's not consistent, just happens every now and again, and I'm, I haven't been able to nail down what's going on with it. I fiddled with every video setting I can imagine in the app. I fiddled with uh, uh, Java, I've made sure that's updated, I've made sure it's a 64-bit version, the latest version and everything. I've, I've fiddled with the uh, graphics card settings on my laptop, every single knob and twiddle and... and uh, option I could play with there. You know, I do know what I'm doing when it comes to this stuff. I'm not an expert, but I do know what I'm doing when it comes to, uh, you know, these kinds of settings and what they mean and what they do and what happens when you click a certain button. But yeah, no matter what I do, I'm still getting the exact same frame rate drop. So I'll run at 50 to 60 frames per second. Fine, no worries. Even even with a texture pack on. Uh, and I should, you know, I did plan to put on the uh, the Fateful 32 texture pack before I started this, because it is—it does look a bit cleaner. But, you know, it looks the exact same as this is just high resolution. I'm starting to get to like it, and uh, the 1.8 version has uh, has now come out, so you can run it on 1.8. Um, but yeah, the frame rate drops aren't my problem; they're not my fault. Uh, lots and lots of Minecraft 1.8 players are seeing it. No one's quite nailed down what it is. Some people are saying if you upgrade to Java um, 1.8 64-bit, which is not a full release version, it is still in beta or testing or pre-release or whatever it is. Some people are claiming that fixes the problem, other people say it didn't for them, so I'm not really prepared to run an, an unfinalized version of Java just yet. I may try it this afternoon, I don't know. But, back to what's changed. Um, as you can see, my little farm has, uh, has now gone. I had a little, tiny little wheat farm here, and that's a bunny ranch. 
because of course bunnies are new to 1.8 as we said i went on a uh, two hour long bunny hunt i was going to stream for like half an hour i thought oh, 1.8 yay i promised to go hunt a bunny down i'll do that for half an hour it took me two friggin hours to find a single bunny i, I walked west for like 90 minutes and couldn't find a damn thing even though i was in new biomes you know i, I had all the other new uh, bits of dirt no oh, the rain great the rain is going to kill the frame rate so i don't normally have cheats turned on but i have done it uh for this just so i can go uh toggle oh whoops toggle downpour whoops i guess i don't have cheats enabled uh oh fuck it we'll deal with it we'll just deal with it but yeah rain is is something that absolutely slaughters the frame rate in 1.8 never used to have that problem kind of angry about it anyway yeah so epic bunny hunt took two and a half hours to find a damn bunny i ended up having to go east the exact opposite direction i set out in uh, and i eventually found a biome with bunnies and i bought um I, uh, I stopped streaming once i found one and i bought one back at extreme difficulty because it was very difficult uh, territory and i had to go uh find a village first because i didn't have any carrots and you need carrots to lure bunnies so i went south uh didn't stream this but i did this after the stream i went south for another she's 20 minutes or something uh just wandering direct south and i eventually found a village and they had a garden with some carrots in it and i'll show you the village in a second i've, I've uh, done something else as well but as you can see i've had to sort of reinforce my warren a, a few times this is the third version of the first version was just a simple fence like old slagathor's got here how you doing slagathor hey look at me look at me when i'm talking here oh he's all pissed off I'm jealous of oh there you go hey slagathor um <clears throat> but yeah they kept escaping Apparently bunnies can jump over fences. Not supposed to be able to. Mobs aren't supposed to be able to jump over. I guess horses can. Maybe bunnies can too, because, you know, the leaping. Um, so I built uh, I built an extra level. I built it too high. Excuse me, just had to clear my throat. Uh, so, yeah, I built an extra level. I built it too high, uh, and I built a little um, sort of airlock gate. So I had the main gate there, and then I built another fence out, came around and built uh, just a little... You know, a double fence thing that a lot of people use to make sure their mobs don't escape. So they open one fence, close it behind them, then open the other one, close it behind them. But I was still getting rabbits escaping. And at this point, my little black rabbit, as you can see, all of these are white. And look, there's one there's one right there. He's already escaped the main gate. They're not mobs aren't supposed to be able to jump over those things. That's why I've got the double I've got the door here now. I had to put a full on door so they wouldn't escape if they get past the first layer of protection. But yeah, I had a single black rabbit, just like I've got a single black sheep. Uh, and the black rabbit I named with a name tag and everything, so he wouldn't despawn if I go too far away. Um, I called him Slagathor 2. Why is... There's a dead rabbit. I guess he... Look at that. There's there's a rabbit skin floating in the air. A rabbit just died and spawned the uh, the drop. I guess, I guess maybe one of the other rabbits pushed him into the wall, clipped him into the wall, and he suffocated. Maybe that's how they're escaping, come to think of it. The sheer mass of rabbits, they're being pushed through. Look, he just came, th his ass is coming through the gate over there. Maybe that's what's happening. Now, that's a glitch in the code then. Oh, look, there's one. All right, let's go in and take a look. Get out of the way. Yeah, look, look at this guy clipping through the wall here. I reckon that's what's happening. This is how they're escaping. They're not jumping over. They're glitching through the damn walls. But yeah, Slagathor 2, my, uh, my faithful black bunny rabbit, uh, escaped. Twice, no less. Uh, the second time, it took me an hour and 20 minutes to find him. I knew he wouldn't despawn because he has a name tag, so he can't just disappear. There um, was a risk he could have murdered himself on nearby lava. You know, he could have easily jumped into there. Or uh, he could have jumped into the uh, the sacrificial pit that I've put in front of the Tower of Pimps. So I, I throw, you know, precious items in there for good luck. Just as a bit of a superstitious ritual that I think is funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Slagathor escaped twice nearly three times actually i had to build him a completely separate hutch when i collected him for the, f uh, for the second time after hunting him down for uh, an hour and 20 minutes i built him his own little room that it, he's completely imprisoned in it should be completely escape proof there's only one rabbit in there so i guess they can't clip through the wall like this dude <laughs> and uh yeah i'll show him to you in a minute but this is the long ear lair and i'm very proud of my little um my little rabbit sign up there, which I made out of dyed wool and stuff. I think that's adorable. I love that. I should do that for all my animals, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I started with just uh, two white rabbits and a black rabbit. I wasn't going to bleed the black, black rabbit in. I wanted him to be special. But yeah, as you can see, um, they're breeding like uh, the proverbial. <laughs> right, next thing. 
uh, and this I streamed last Sunday, uh, just after I put up the uh, last Sunday's uh, Sunday Minecraft Sunday video. As I said I would, we came across here and we rebuilt the pyramid I was trying, or not the pyramid, the igloo I was trying to build. And as you can see, we did a much better job of it this time with the, the stream's help. who were telling me bits and pieces I was missing and helping me try and uh, get it symmetrical and everything. It is uh, wider than it is long. So it's um, longer on you know, one dimension than it is the other. Which I did by accident. I kind of like how it turned out. But it did make the build much more difficult than it should have been with a perfectly symmetrical circular shape. But yeah, uh, chat helped me name this one. This is the Tony Dome. Because inside we have Tony the Snow Golem. Let's go say hello to Tony. I have released him. Because uh, if you didn't join us uh, in the previous videos, he was imprisoned in my pyramid, the lava pyramid over there. Which was a hellish existence for a snowman. But now, he's in his own little igloo, perfectly happy. He's still kind of depressed. I still see him sort of staring at the corners all the time. I should, bring, I should build him some furniture. Maybe we'll do that this afternoon. <laughs> but yeah, I've got some windows so we can look out and uh, spy on the world. And uh, so I can look in on him. But yeah. So, I'm kind of proud of how this came out. This is the first complex shape I've tried to build in Minecraft. You know, aside from boxes and stuff. It took me a while. It took me far longer than a, a normal Minecraft player would, I think. You know, some of the experience. But, we got there in the end, and I'm kind of happy with it how it turned out. So, let's pop out here without letting Tony escape. Here we go. So, yeah. Now... The other thing we built uh, on last Sunday's stream, and yes, I will be streaming again this afternoon. I like to stream uh, in the afternoons as I'm putting up this video. So I normally record this video, then I watch the new Doctor Who while it's encoding, and then I get it uploaded and wait for some comments to come in and make sure everything's running all right, and uh, then we go ahead and uh, start streaming. So Sunday afternoons, uh, kind of regular schedule. You'll have to Google it to find out what that means in your local time if you're not Australian. Um, but yeah, then we built this. My uh, lovely little stables. Again, this was a bit trickier than it should have been. I had to, a lot of troubles getting these stairs to behave. I'm still still learning how to get these things to go in the orientation I bloody well want them to. Um, but yeah, we've uh, got a double gate here because, of course, a horse needs two, two, uh, come, two gaps to come through. You can't get through a one-block gap, apparently. Uh, but yeah, we've put yellow carpet down on the floor here, which sort of simulates a hay-covered floor. We've got some hay bales stacked in the corner. Um, I haven't got a second horse yet. I do have an extra saddle. In fact, I've got two extra saddles now. I uh, came across a um, another abandoned mine shaft out west when I was rabbit hunting last uh, Monday or Tuesday, whatever it is. Uh, so I've got an extra saddle, a couple of extra name tags now. But yeah, here we go. Here's uh, Drogo, the horse. We, uh, we named him in chat last stream as I was building the uh, stables for him. He's got another little cauldron of water to satiate his thirst. I should take your armor off when you're not needing it, shouldn't I? Seems uncomfortable. But yeah, same same deal over here. Hay bales and a slightly different sort of arrangement, just so it doesn't look too symmetrical. And uh, yellow carpet to simulate a hay-covered floor. I'm kind of happy with all that came out. Looks kind of rustic and pretty. I wish this rain would go away. It always rains in my damn world, and it's killing my frame rate. Now, next to the stables, uh, this will be new to people... Uh, uh, to everyone, because I never streamed when I built this. This is my little farm. So I've extended my farm now that I've actually got more ingredients. So I had pumpkins, and uh, we got uh, some melons, and I'm growing cactus over here. That was another epic, trying to get cactus, because I need to dye something green. And I'll show you what that was about in a while, but... Jesus, the nearest desert to my place is miles away! I walked for, like... Uh, I didn't even time... It was just a long, long, long walk... And I did try to build a nether portal shortcut to there, but I just can't get to the right coordinates in the nether. It's just impossible. I'm surrounded by lava, and I can't get to where I need to be to create a shortcut to the desert, so I can't go back again. It was just too far away. Uh, but I did bring back a couple of cactus with me, or as many as I could carry, uh, and we set up a cactus farm, so now I can I can make green dye. I've got my sugar cane going up here. I've got some half planks covering the water between them, because, of course, sugar cane needs lots and lots of water. Uh, I've got potatoes over here, which I got from the village I found. And all of these have little signs with, the, with you know, what's been planted on them, just for a little bit of fun, even though you can clearly see, but still. So we've got the melons, we've got the pumpkins, and I'm still trying to figure out a good arrangement for these. I don't think I've got the right amount of blocks to space them properly, because they each need two blocks of space, because you plant the seed there and then it flops over. 
so as you can see I've got a you know wasted space here so I'm trying to figure out a good arrangement for that I might have to wind up googling it I might have to give up on my ingenuity and google it instead same thing with the pumpkins uh, my wheat going over here and my most important crop yay carrots after the epic journey I went through to uh, find rabbits then another epic journey to find friggin carrots because I couldn't find any in any of the abandoned mine shafts I came across. I've come across three so far. None of them had carrots in the chests. So yeah, huge journey south to find that village. Finally found carrots growing. Um, also rabbits too. So <laughs> uh, I could have just saved myself the trouble and went south in the first place. So I would have found rabbits and carrots in the same place. Although the first time I went to the village, I couldn't didn't see any rabbits. So I still had to go all the way east to drag a rabbit back over humongous mountains and the, like the third time I went back to the village there were suddenly rabbits there I thought well that would have been an easy way to bring them over wish I'd seen you before um, I don't think anything else has changed in this direction oh we've got something down here mm, go away rain do 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 so decided uh, I needed some diamonds for a thing that I'm working on which I'll tell you about in a second that goes with the stuff I was dying green I want to save that secret till the end. But yeah, I needed more diamonds. Because I needed to... Um, well, I just needed more diamonds. So I decided to do some some mining. Now, this is a pet peeve of mine. This type of mine, where you sort of dig all the way down to about uh, sort of level 11 or so. That's where the diamonds used to hang out. Between 11 and 16, I think. Or 11 and 24-ish. Um, but yeah, you dig all the way down to, uh, you know, not too far above bedrock. And just above where the lava tends to settle, so you're not going to accidentally flood yourself in lava. Uh, and then you uh, sort of dig these little paths off, uh, a couple of blocks apart, so you make sure you explode, ex expose every possible block. You know, it's time consuming, but it's one of the most efficient. Oh, geez, I missed one there, didn't I? Too close. Silly. Couldn't can't count. Um, but yeah, it's a time consuming but reasonably efficient way to uh, to go about sort of finding resources ores and stuff and uh, these I haven't dug yet I've just got the doorways there to let me know where to start there we go it's the last one I left off and yes there are diamonds all the way down there I've left those there I'm going to collect those on the stream uh, this afternoon and then do what I was going to do with the diamonds but yeah huge big haul of diamonds like five blocks of diamonds there it's really sweet the rant I was going to have um, I've seen a lot a lot a lot of minecrafters you know long time uh, expert minecrafters we'll call them and they you know they call this system of mining they call it strip mining. That's wrong. It's just flat out wrong. This is not a strip mine. You know, I'll admit, I'm a Minecraft newbie. I don't know much about Minecraft. I'm, you know, I'm learning more and more all the time. But I know for a fact that this is not strip mining because I know what real strip mining is in the real world, and that is an open mine. It's, it's like, uh, it's an open face mine uh, style strip mining. It doesn't have, you know, it's not underground. It's, they, they literally strip away a layer of the ground at a time basically now strip mining is a, is a surface mining technique they use you know excavation tools and big you know huge machines that you can't normally get underground very easily that's why they that's why they do strip mining um, coal is often strip mined i think mm, uranium is often strip mined it's it's a type of surface mining this is not surface mining this is underground mining this is um uh what that's not slope uh yeah, no, slope, slope mining, that's what they're called. This, this, this here, digging down like this, this is slope mining. And down the bottom there, that's branch mining. So uh, I'd appreciate if you guys got it right from now, because it's a pet peeve of mine. Jeez, oh, I was hoping the rain was go away by the time I get back up. Now, let me uh, show you the other thing I've been doing. Oh, okay. Now, there's a few more things over here I can show you. There's a lot to get through. Let me just check my list to make sure I'm getting through everything. <laughs> Here's Slagathor, by the way. You can see I built him his own little glass cage. Absolute escape artist. Escaped from the Warren twice. Second time was an epic hunt to try and find the damn thing. Eventually found him, lured him back, and built him this. Inescapable cage. Presumably inescapable cage. Except for the one time I was screwing around out here trying to do a screenshot, and I accidentally broke one of the glass panes, and he immediately leapt through it. So I had to chase him across the courtyard and uh, go grab a carrot from my farm real quick to lure him back because I wasn't carrying a carrot at the time. So I had to, yeah, that was a bit of a panic. <laughs> but yeah, uh, absolute escape artist. You cannot let this little bugger uh, escape. I, think I might even build a double door to the back entrance here just to ensure that he doesn't escape through here. 
So I keep worrying that he's going to just shoot out the door as soon as I open the damn thing. There he is, with the name tag. Apparently you can't see the name tags through glass, which is weird. Slagathor the second, or Slagathor 2. I think Slagathor 2 is the better name for him. But um, yeah, he's staying there for now. He's my little pet escape artist. Um, don't th oh, there was something else. In yeah, I've been screwing around with... Um, uh, I showed you that last time, but I forgot to show you... Or did I show you that? I f no. See, last time I had some video recording uh, glitches. So I had to re-record the video three times. So I'm not sure what I told you about and what I forgot to tell you about. But yeah, I did uh, some science here. The Blunt Sword, which I love. Funny name. It's a pun. You know, me, Blunty, swords are sharp. This is a blunt sword. It's an oxymoron. Ha 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 ha. Got a little um, pen and ink thing here going on here. Uh, book and quill. You can actually break that out and write in it and pop it back in the frame and store it. Like a, like a bookshelf, really. Um, also paintings. I've been screwing around with paintings. Um, yeah, but let's um, let's show you the more important thing I've been doing. Here's my chaining table. I have been screwing around with uh, nether shortcuts. Because if you're a Minecraft noob, this is the nether. It's basically hell. You get there by building a special portal. Um, and But every block you travel here translates to the overworld, the main world, uh, as eight blocks. So if you travel, you know, 100 blocks in this uh, dimension, build another portal, and escape through it, you've essentially traveled 800 blocks in the overworld. You'll end up 800 blocks away from where you, uh, where the original portal was. And you can use this to your advantage to create fast travel by building various portal networks. So over here, fair distance away from the main portal, I built another portal, and this portal goes to Nya Village because it's filled with villages again. So I called it Nya Village. Uh, well, actually, this goes to the, the Nya Village Keep because uh, when uh, I came to this, I made this little room in the Nether. I carved it all out from you know solid uh, Nether Nether rack. So I had a little safe place in the Nether to keep my stuff. Um, when this portal first spawned, it spawned right in the middle of the village. I made my calculations too precise, and it actually half destroyed one of the houses. So I had to carve the house out from around it, break it down, and then move it away from the village, whereupon I had to build a little fortress for it, um, because villagers were wandering in and out of the damn thing. So by the time I went back to the nether, there were four villagers just wandering around my little room there. Just four little villagers, just... Uh, uh, transported to hell for no good reason. They just wandered in the wrong place. Their AI sucks. So now I've got iron doors. So you have to, you know, a villager can't open these doors. In any ways, for a player to press that button. Um, and I had pigs and sheep and stuff wandering into the damn thing as well. So every time I went through, there were chickens in the in my nether room. So I had to lock it away in the little, uh, my little uh, nether portal keep, I call it. It's got burning netherrack on top to help me spot it from a distance. But yeah, here's the village quaint little village. It's uh, about medium sized and here is where I found my very first carrots. I don't know that they've got any growing. I think I might have stolen all of them. There are rabbits wandering around too and rabbits will destroy uh, uh, carrot crops um, if they wander into them and they're not protected so maybe I should put a fence around here and help these guys out. But yeah. Where are, oh there we go. Yeah. 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 My little village of Squidwoods. There's another farm up the other end here near the church. Yeah. Wait, where is that other farm? It's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's over here. I forgot where it was. Yeah. No, wait. I swear there was one around here somewhere. Well, no, I'm getting lost again. There is there is a secondary farm. Oh, there it is. I think it was around here somewhere. Secondary farm plot. And I got some potatoes from this one. I think, look, yeah, they've replanted them. Cool. I didn't take all the potatoes from that one. So I need carrots more than I need potatoes. Potato, potato, potato. Oh, right, so they're actually closer than I thought. Or was this the one I was thinking of? No, that's the first one I spotted. I don't know. Now I'm getting confused, but yeah. Where is... Oh, yeah. Here's... Uh, this torch on the wall is where I put the mark where my nether portal first spawned. It spawned, like, right here. And there was a house <laughs> right here. Like, I'm standing right where there was a nice, lovely little villager house. And my portal spawned right in the middle of it and destroyed half of it. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, when I when I came out the door, I ran straight into a brick wall, or cobblestone wall, I guess. But yeah, there's, oh, there's some. I think I cleaned up all the remnants of it, so it it, do, it looks like nothing happened here. But yeah, there was a house there. 
Um, so yeah, there's uh, rabbits and sheep. I've got to lure some pigs back as well. I haven't got any pigs yet. But yeah, love the little plains. It's a nice little place. There's a little uh, over in that direction. There's a snowy, snowy mountain range which I haven't really explored yet. I've gone through there. But yeah, I've got cows and pigs and rabbits and sheep and everything you could want. Little plains uh, area there. So it's a nice area to have a shortcut to. We've got the villagers for their trading. I've got oh, a little bit of a... I haven't started this mine yet, but I've just built the entrance to it. There's a cave system underneath their village that I haven't explored properly yet. Um, but yeah, nice area to have a shortcut to. Very resource rich as far as animals and farms and villager trading and that mine underneath, or caverns underneath I should say. So it was a really nice find. Just stop it, stop it. Frame rate drops. Right. I'm not going to show you. I think I've just about showed you everything. I think. Oh, there's, no, there's one. There's two more things I need to show you. Uh, so, yeah, when we stream this afternoon, I'm going to complete the diamond hunt. Actually, I think the diamonds I uncovered before may have completed that, but yeah. We're, uh, I'm going to build my little uh, seaside base. Maybe do a little bit of exploring. I do have an enchanted book that I enchanted that has a, um, a an underwater benefit. What is it? I've got a few enchanted books waiting here. To s do, do, do. Respiration 2. If you uh, attach this enchantment to a to a helmet, cap, uh, it helps you hold your breath longer underwater. An extra 30 seconds, I think, Respiration 2 will get you, because I think it's 15 seconds per level, was what I was reading. So that's going to help. I'm going to put that on a iron helmet or something, maybe even a diamond helmet. Uh, so I can breathe, or well, hold my breath underwater for a little longer when I go hunting in the ocean for that ocean biome thing. Now then, um, oh, just before we go inside, just before I show you the, the coup de grace, my favorite thing that I built this week, we'll have a trip up to the art gallery because we've got a couple of other dedications. So uh, if you're not familiar with the art gallery, when I'm streaming, I do have a donation thing. I don't really pressure people to it, but if they want to, they want to. Uh, but everyone who donates $5 or more gets to... Um, Gets, to, gets their, uh, a plaque with their name above it, thanks to a donation from Adeco, uh, on one of these uh, uh, gallery pieces, which are unique or funny items or just important items being the first ones I came across or rare items or something, you know, something a little bit special or interesting or relevant to, uh, to how I've been playing the game. Uh, Fish to Electric Boogaloo has been unclaimed so far. Uh, the... Uh, the Moist Maker, which uh, the potion I found just before I started the last uh, recording, I think. Uh, that got snatched up pretty quickly when I started streaming Sunday afternoon last week. Uh, Spuffy Forever 88, she uh, she claimed that one. She loves the moist. <laughs> she thinks moist is a funny word as I do. Uh, and also the Nugget of Purest Green. Put an emerald in there, like I said I would. Um, and that went to uh, uh, Shifty Ukrainian. Shifty Ukrainian wanted the nugget of purest green, which is a blackout of reference if you're not sure why I'm putting on the funny voice. But yeah, it's one of my favourite gags from that series. I was talking about it as I was putting the uh, putting the name up, and uh, and uh, Shifty Ukrainian popped in a donation, and said, "Yep, I want that. Mine, mine, mine." Um, and I've also got a skin uh, from the first rabbit I killed because I got frustrated of how long it was taking me to find the damn things, and the epic journey to lure them all into the worm, and then, you know, a couple escaped. So I, I killed one of the escapees and hung his skin on the wall as a memorial um, uh, kind of thing, just to, uh, you know, just to remember that, that funny little incident of the, the rabbit escaping and the number of times I had to rebuild the worm. Um, so I guess I have to start on the next side, and when we fill that up, we'll dig back and push the wall back. Um, I think I've got a couple of ideas about the next pieces I might put up this afternoon, actually. So, ah, the last, the coup de grace. My, uh, my favorite thing that I built this week. Oh, should to show you this. Um, this is a banner, by the way. This is one of the new items in Minecraft. It works a bit like a sign, but it uh, just sort of hangs down like a towel. And you can make a whole bunch of different patterns and, and mix and match patterns and overlay them on one another to create uh, sort of pitch interesting looking flag type stuff. Uh, this one I built for a different project. It didn't kind of work out. I just built one of them to see how it looked and it didn't It didn't work the way I wanted it to work. So I just, well, I hung it here for visual interest, really. I just, you know, the idea was to have a black background and a bold color, but it turns out the banner wasn't as large as I was needing it to be. 
Um, so I'm going to show you my secret now. You have to promise not to tell anybody. This is top secret, absolutely top secret. You cannot tell anybody about this. I'm going to show you my secret base. And uh, existing Minecraft experts may have guessed by now, because this is a trick that a uh, few people have used in in some famous live um, uh, Let's Play things. I think one of the Rooster Teeth guys did this in his base. But when I saw it, I thought, I have to do that. Turns out, if you hang one of these big paintings, and they're randomly generated, you sometimes get the little ones, or 2x2, two two or 1x1, one one, but you sometimes get very big ones. And you can actually hang these over a gap. As long as you've got a solid piece you know, here, uh, you should be able to hang it, or dig out behind it, so... Whoop! You can actually use it as a secret entrance. Whoop! Whoop! <laughs> uh, I had to hang a door there. It wouldn't quite hang over the gap. But if you've got a door, an open door, it worked. So, I don't know. Yeah, because the last time I saw this trick happen, you didn't have to have anything there. You could just have a gap, and it worked fine. But I couldn't quite get it to work. So I hung a door there, left it open, and then it worked. Because I guess this counts as a block that's sitting here, even when it's open. Uh, as far as the Minecraft code is concerned. But yeah, that's my secret door to my secret lair. And down in my secret lair, I've got secret carpet. And on the secret carpet, I've got secret stands. This is the other new thing, the uh, cool new thing, which is these armor stands, which you can now craft. So instead of having to hang your armor, some people used to use picture frames, like I've got in the art gallery, to hang their armor. Uh, but now I've got proper armor stands where you can display your armor uh, in, in lovely style. So what I've got here is my secret little armor room and my plan is to have a display of each of every type of armor. Now there is one type of armor that you can't craft. Apparently you can trade for if you find the right villager. I haven't, no villager has offered me yet, but chainmail. Uh, you can't craft chainmail uh, in regular survival. You need, uh, you need to use fire and you can't sort of spawn a fire block in survival mode. You can do it in creative, but I'm in survival. So I've got leather armor my iron armor, my gold armor. This one is reserved for diamond armor, and that's why I'm on the diamond hunt in the mine, by the way. I didn't want to use the diamonds I collected so far, even though I do have enough, really, to make a suit of armor. I wanted I wanted fresh diamonds. I wanted to make, I wanted to go on a diamond hunt and, uh, and try branch mining. Um, an enchanted iron armor. I may enchant gold and leather as well. Um, I think I've got enough both materials. I may pop those next to it, but I don't know that they're going to look that different. Because all Enchanted Armor has this sort of purpley animation going over. And I don't know whether it's going to look different enough on the different surfaces to bother. You know, one Enchanted Armor is enough, I think. You know, Enchanted Armor. I don't need Enchanted Gold, Enchanted Leather. Just Enchanted. Uh, but on the other wall here, which I've been trying to hide from you from camera carefully, is my favorite piece. And this is why I needed the green dye. You have failed this city. <laughs> I wanted a green arrow uh, reference because as soon as I found out you could dye armor, I thought, I'm going to make a green suit of armor and I'm going to get a bow and arrow and I'm going to make an arrow cave, <laughs> which is what, you know, the, uh, you know how you've got the bat cave? It's kind of an in-joke in, -joke in uh, the Green Arrow comics. I don't think they refer to it in the TV show Arrow as the, the arrow cave, though. Or maybe they did make a joke about it in season one, I think, maybe. I forget. Um, but yeah, I wanted I wanted a green arrow costume, which I'm, I'm carrying a duplicate for, because um, I was screwing around with it yesterday. I wanted the duplicate, and I didn't want to take it off the stand. I want that to be permanent, so I made a second set, because, you know, it's only a leather arm. It's not difficult to make. Um, so let's, uh, let's don my green arrow uh, <laughs> gear. Boom, boom. Whoops, too close. There we go. Uh, get rid of that. There we go. You have failed this city. <laughs> I don't have my bow and arrow on me, damn it. Should have planned that better. But, um, yeah, that, um, that's just for my own amusement, that one. <laughs> so that is my, my secret room, uh, the Blunt Cave, we'll call it. I'll make a sign for it down here or something. We'll call it the Blunt Cave with my um, my secret uh, uh, den of armor. I'm up with some weapons down there in frames as well. Some enchanted swords and something to make it a sort of armory. But... That is, I think, the entirety of my adventures uh, throughout this week. Wow, did a lot this week. I'm sorry I didn't stream a lot of it. Um, oh, something else I should tell you. I'm trying. The reason I'm breeding so many bunnies is I'm trying. There's a 1 in 1,000 chance. Uh, I'm going to have to kill the escapee. He's not going to go back in. I just know it. There's nobody pushing back in. 
Um, I guess I could try to push him back in. But yeah, bunnies, bunnies don't do well with pushing. They tend to slip around your feet. I've tried it before. I was trying to wrangle these bastards around. Um, but yeah, there's a 1 in 1,000 chance of spawning the evil bunny. Or the evil rabbit, I think it's called. Um, which is what it sounds like. And it is a Monty Python reference. If you don't get the Monty Python reference, I'm not going to explain it to you. You should just go watch Monty Python um, and the Holy Grail, because it is a brilliant and funny movie. But yeah, 1 in 1,000 chance to spawn an evil rabbit. Looks just like a normal white rabbit, except his eyes are different. His eyes are sort of horizontal instead of vertical, so they look all squinty. Um, and he will attack you. He will mercilessly and ruthlessly and unceasingly attack you if you come within range. And uh, rabbits have a fairly long uh, range. I mean, they'll spot you way before other mobs will turn to face you. you get pretty close to a sheep before it turns around and takes notice, but rabbits do it from much further away. And the evil rabbit, as soon as he spots you, he's going to hop straight to you and start attacking you. But when I do get one, when I do eventually spawn an evil rabbit, which may take quite some time, because it's only 1 in 1,000, I'm going to revisit my glass prison, which currently houses the Magneto Chicken, uh, and I'm going to turn that into uh, a prison for the evil rabbit, because that seems more appropriate than just some random chicken that I named Magneto for uh, for, for poops and giggles, basically. Whoops. Oh, there he is. He tried to pull me into the water with his magic powers, because I'm holding metal tools. Evil, 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 evil. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the evil rabbit in there. Um, I'm gonna find out whether breeding an evil rabbit with a normal rabbit breeds more evil rabbits. I don't think it does. I think the spawn rate's still the same, one in one thousand. But yeah, that's the plan. But thank you so much for joining me on my um, ramblings through my adventuring in uh, my little Minecraft world as I as I learn and uh, get better and explore and have adventures and you know figure out this whole Minecraft thing. I'm still having a blast, and thank you to everyone who's been sending in messages of, of their, um, you know, when, when they pick up Minecraft, you know, people who haven't played in ages and have been inspired by, you know, the joy I'm having with it, thinking, I should get back to Minecraft. And those of you who are trying Minecraft for the first time, just like me, um, I hope you're having as much fun as I am. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning quickly. I'm, I'm getting more confident. Uh, I'm feeling better about my builds. They're looking better, not so sort of boxy and stuff. You know, I'm getting, getting slightly fancier. You know, I'm no, <laughs> I, I, I'm not up to mega builds or anything yet. Although I do have a plan for that mountaintop up there. I'm going to build some sort of castle or keep or something, and I might put uh, my enchantment table up there. Spooky mountain enchantment table. Maybe I'll just build a second one so I don't have to go all the way up there to use it every time. But it'll look cool just overlooking my little, my the rest of my little builds. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me. I am Blunty. I will see some of you on the stream later this afternoon, if you're watching this the day it goes up, if you're watching this, you know, the day after it goes up, then I guess you missed the stream, didn't you? <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go build my little, um, my little Oceanside uh, base, and uh, go monument hunting, and um, what did I say I was going to build? I was going to build something. I forgot what I said I was going to build. What was that? What else was going to build? I said it before, and I forget. There was something else. There was. There really was. I forget. Um, look at Slagathor. He's just staring at the door. Look at him. Look at him. Slagathor. No, he's staring at me. I thought you were just staring at the door, Slagathor, too. Hey, what's going on? Say goodbye to the people. Because we are out of here. Whoops, texture pops. And, and if you're having trouble with 1.8 like I am, pop a message, too. Because uh, yeah, I am having all kinds of frame rate issues at times. Other than that, it's been fine. It's been fantastic. I love the new additions. The armor stands, the rabbits in particular. Love them. I am Blunty. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you next time. Damn it. There we go. Get the crosshair off my face. I am bloody. <laughs> Catch you next time. Oh dear.